Hi, welcome to another new video. In today's video, I'll be sharing one of the ultra portable palette that I have. So I recently share uh, all my ultra, po ultra portable palettes, not all, but most of them um, in this video. And I, I, I did like how promised at the end that I will, I will go in details on each ultra portable uh, palette. In today's video, I will be sharing this palette um, that is from, I got from Taobao. I seriously don't remember I ordered this. Okay, so that's a box with a sun. It says Molly. Oh, I know it could be my palette. Ooh, such a nice, nice box. And then, oh, look at that. So that's quite a heavy palette. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the palette that I ordered, right? It's nicely wrapped up. I mean, it's an acrylic, quite a heavy acrylic palette. And can you see the nice gold accent? And I think these are the spray. They gave me some spray bottle. This is water container. And this is probably the container for other stuff. And they even gave half pens, um, a little clip, okay? And glue, balloon glue. So I, I don't know what balloon glue is. I think it's for you to stick the half pens in their um, uh, bowl that they tie. This is a palette right that you can it's a portable palette i'm pleased with this one it's not cheap but but i like it so in chinese it's emo door right but this is this is the brand and if i find the link on aliexpress i will share it below okay Tio has also reviewed this uh, palette last year, so I'll just put the link at the top. Uh, when I order this set, you get an option just to order it like that. Or you can get it with uh, like attachment, kind of shorter. If you don't use too much water, you can have like a dirty and a clean. So you, you just you bring one of this and you can wash your brush and you can use the clean water over here. Um, if you use more water, then you bring this big one. The main reason I bought this palette was because of the tripod attachment. And this should allow you to attach this palette to any camera tripod. And I'm hoping to replace one of those big easels that I, I have. Um, so let me just go into the details of this. Um, it is made of a clear acrylic and it is like a matte surface. Um, and it's not, it's not, it's quite heavy. And there is this handlebar, this is metal, and there's this acrylic, clear acrylic uh, for you to hold. So you, you can hold this. And if you have some sort of, um, like, a, you can in fact include a little clip and you can hold this, like, you can just bring it like a bag. But I don't do it um, because, yeah, because I, I definitely need to bring more than this. Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why, but they actually included like two pieces of metal like like magnet over here all right i don't know why there is additional magnet over here but at, 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 the, at the cover there is actually two magnet right they inserted two like like really good magnets at the top but if you if you see i actually stick i stick it down i've been sticking it down uh with with a tape because if not it's gonna pop out so if i push it it's gonna pop out can you see it's kind of popping out so I, I don't know. So if you get this set, just be very careful um, about the magnet. Do not let it pop out, okay? Um, yeah, so there is a hinge here. It's made of metal, okay? And there are like little grooves here for you to kind of like put down, put it down. And you can hold it at different angle. So you can actually hold it, your paper. So you can stick this or clip your paper here or book here, whichever. Um, if you have a thicker book, you buy a bigger clip and you can adjust the groove so that it, it goes down and you get like kind of a graduation. This is the S, as low as it can go. And that's the hinge, um, you know, to for the for the cover. And then these are the slots for uh, the, the... And over here, this is what I like because they, have, they, they actually use standard half pen size uh, wells. So you can insert your own half pens and you can kind of mix and match what you have. There are 24 wells here. So you can just go back to your studio uh, palette. You can just take them out and you can just fit them in there. Um, and there's this mixing area over here. So they, they made it opaque. Um, it uh, enables you to see the color quite well. And at the bottom, you do have two cap magnet. And we all know what's that for. It's to uh, fix the cover so it does not open up. Okay. There's a long groove at this side. Okay. And the reason for having this groove is so that you can fit in these attachments. So as you can see, if you have two attachments, it will fit really nicely like this. So there's two ways to actually use this um, palette. As I said, 
either with the uh, using the tripod you can fit it um, over here and you can hold it on the tripod and like change the angulation if you wish you can put it on a table and because of this attachment right once you open it up you can actually put it at the side so since this is at this corner um, you can imagine yourself sitting on a table and you're like at this corner of the table you can just leave it like that and the water will be outside and this will be sitting on the tabletop now about the good points of this palette. Firstly, it allows us to use standard half pens. So you do not have to squeeze out the paint specially just for the palette. And, and you know, you, you kind of like agonize on, on what colors to include in there because you can just take what you already have um, in, in, your, in your current set and just replace them. Um, and it also comes with a mixing area. It's a bit small. It's also the disadvantage, but at least it has one. It has a tripod. Uh, it has a tripod attachment so you are able to put it on a tripod you have flexibility if you do not wish to bring a tripod you can just leave it on a table surface or you can even leave it on your lap and you can use it so it works um, it works as well so you don't really have to bring the tripod but just note that if you have a tripod you can kind of free your legs up or if you can't find a table then the tripod will be will be uh, useful um, you, you, you can clip the paper on on this uh, easel there's also an option to include containers for water uh, as part of the kit. So now for the things that I don't like about this palette. My mixing area came off. Okay, so that, that they, they actually have these like grooves cut in um, and over here as well. So I, I don't know if they're supposed to be a, like a glue or something to stick this down. Prior to this, um, I had water, I had seepage. So um, the thing about this set is like if you use too much water, you, you have to make sure that you clean off the water uh, from the pans. So if you, if you like to spray water on it, if you like to use a lot of water in your watercolor, um, just make sure you clean off the water because if you, once you keep it, there's no way to prevent that water from coming seeping out. And if you are going to keep this palette in your, in your bag with the water still inside the pan, it's going to seep through and it's going to go into your bag. So please keep it dry. If you can right and for me i have issue with it going inside and probably that water causes that the, the glue to dissolve or i don't know okay so you can see can you see this a patch of uh, um color water color which i can't remove and this whole thing just came off i just need to put in a glue and then stick it back so i think it's not a big deal it's a small issue so i do have a bigger issue with paint sipping through because if you do have like a palette like this for example and if you do have it, like a lot of water here you can, once you close this there's no way the paint will come out right the all you what might happen is you get paint around here but it will not flow out because this is kind of like airtight okay so that that is something that I, I i i think you need to know and sometimes like if i don't don't dry fast enough what i'll do is i'll put a piece of kitchen towel on top to to kind of like allow that wa like water the extra excess liquid moisture to kind of get absorbed so that it gets absorbed there and then i can just take it off uh, when i get home and another thing i think for me a problem with this palette is the weight it's slightly heavy it's quite it's a bit heavy for me and i think the mixing area mixing area is kind of small given that you are you are having you know you you have this option of having a, a tripod to hold your palette so if you know in that sense you probably have to bring more stuff anyway and you're probably being a bigger piece of paper or piece of uh, like yeah at work and just having this, this is pathetically small. So this is, I think, one of the smallest like pay, um, um, size to paint ratio that I've seen. Um, it's like uh, just 10.5 times 7. So it's about 70 cm square. And it, it's, it's not big at all. Do not expect to mix a lot of water, like a lot of paint. Um, use the colors as they are and try not to mix too much because you will not have enough space for that mixing um, and you have to cl keep cleaning it off i think enough of me talking about this palette um, i i will uh, bring you out just to show you how, how i set up um, and stuff like that okay so yeah let's go 
So the setup begins with uh, taking out the tripod um, and, and opening up and uh, setting it up. I normally sit on the floor with the, in a chair, so I normally don't stand stand up. But if you like to stand up, uh, you can open up fully uh, the tripod and, and set this up. So it sets up the same way. Just need to make sure that you uh, attach it to the uh, tripod attachment um, and then you can adjust uh, the angulation uh, later on. So um, you can have a choice of using paper uh, this is A5 size, fits just right. Or you can use something even bigger like what I'm doing here. So this is a, a watercolor block, a watercolor paper block uh, that I can just uh, clip to the side. But just remember, because it's so big, right, you have to uh, clip it and push the paper to one side and clip the other side onto the uh, easel board. So now that I'm ready to start painting, I'm taking out the spray bottle and also all those um, travel brushes that I have brought and I put them on the uh, attachment. I then uh, placed my piece of rug uh, on uh, around the handle to kind of like uh, secure it so that I can clean off excess water from the brushes when I paint later. And the last step before painting is to top up the uh, water container with the water that I brought. And these are the slots for uh, the, the brushes. I rarely use it because they, I find it's kind of weird to put brushes here when you're painting. So I normally hold the brushes in my hands. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and then uh, subscribe if you'd like to see similar content. Um, and I will see you again in the next video. And, and in the meanwhile, happy sketching, happy drawing, happy swatching. Bye-bye. <laughs>